Hey, what's up guys? Prince Fitzherman and welcome to my channel again. And today we have a tutorial on how to make a private server for Rust. I'm going to show you guys how to do this very easy and also very fast. All right, let me remind you that in the description box, there's all the information that you need to make sure to check the description box. All right, we're going to go to this website, rust.facepunch.com. Now, this is the official website of Rust. We're going to go to FAQ scroll down this is the zip this is the zipped file of the server so we're going to download that save now once you download it it should be right there now this is a zipped file you need something like winrar or unzip those are free programs that you can download now you can install your server at the download section here if you want but i'm going to place it on my ssd and it's right here so uh, let's unzip it and here we got our servers you see this run ds that's the server so we're going to edit just right click edit and this is the batch file very easy no problem now you can start installing this like this but i'm going to change the server seat now that's just you can just type in any number doesn't matter these numbers here they create your map now as for the server name i'm going to type in rust server just you can type in anything you want and as for the server port just keep it as it is that's it so we just change the map seed just so that we get a different map and we change the name of the server and that's all we're going to do for the time being close it save and then we're going to run it and here it's going to install and update now there might be a firewall alert popping up just allow it that's just a connection while this is updating we are going to go to this site steamid.io now here we're going to get our steam id 64 and with that you have to go to your steam profile right click and copy your url of your steam just put it in here like this and this is mine I'm going to get this Steam ID 64. Copy to clipboard, and that's it. All right, guys, fast forward. The server is finished. It's completely done. Now we're going to place in some commands. Now we're going to make ourselves an admin. We're going to type in this owner ID. And remember our Steam 64 ID? We got to place it right here. See? Press enter now i'm the owner of the server i'm full control you can also add moderator id so if you have a couple of friends you can place their steam id 64 and you can make them moderators All right now we're going to save it and we're going to type this in cfg write cfg configuration saved and that's it the server is completely done All right, guys as you can see this is the server and we're going to connect to it now we're going to go f1 console just press f1 in the game and then we're going to type client dot connect local host 28015 don't forget the double points there uh, we're just going to enter and now it's loading in all right guys we just loaded into the game man and this is our server now what we're going to do next is we're going to press f1 again we're going to put in some bindings now we're going to type in bind o no clip now this should bind your o button this is my preferences this is what i do you can put it on any letter that you wish i prefer it on the letter o so when we press o now we can fly see we can fly anywhere we wish now for the second command for all you people that want to record we're gonna place another bind and then p that's my personal preferences i always like to press on p when i use the debug camera because we're going to do this here bind b debug camera so all i have to do is just press p 
see now i'm out of character now i can record better and we're gonna do cam lerp 0. Oh, 0. 0.03 see now it's like smoother and this is for all you guys that want to make cool intros or whatever and we're gonna also use kill function here we're gonna bind g that's the letter that i choose you can choose any letter that you wish i'm gonna use g and kill so anything that i point at for example here if you go to items you can get a lot of cool stuff and you can also get resources by the thousand but that's pretty slow so what i like to do is i like to give wood 100,000 give stones 100,000 give metal frags there you go see now i got everything i need and the end kill what it does so when i press g it just destroys destroys everything that's the bind g and kill also don't forget you also have a timer you can environment time let's say 24 now that should be night yes see let's say you want to do it 1 p.m well then you gotta type 13 that, this is the european way of uh, time tracking it's not p.m or a.m it's just from 0 to 24 so 13 is 1 p.m so this is the time it's 1 p.m in the game and there you go man that's your server Okay, good job. <laughs> oh. I see them, I see them, I see them. There's like, uh, like six of them, holy yeah, shit. Yeah.